There is so much to see and do in your Charleston County parks, especially in the spring when they host so many fun events and activities. There are truly events for everyone, whether you're into live music, yoga, hanging out with some furry friends or indulging in some delicious cuisine. Sarah Reynolds, the public information coordinator for Charleston County Parks, is here to tell us why we should be hanging out at our county parks this spring. Sarah, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm so happy the spring is pretty much yes, here. Yes. Um, talk to me about why Charleston County Parks is the place to spend to spend our springtime. I feel like there's so much going on. Uh, there really is. We have events and programs and all kinds of activities throughout the spring and summer and you know everything really just kicks up in the spring. It's a great time to get out and enjoy the low country, enjoy some of our parks and really just get out and enjoy being outdoors and yeah. uh, events and activities and things like that. What better place to be? We've been waiting all winter for this. Yes, <laughs> I know. I'm so ready for the spring. <laughs> so you guys have a pretty packed schedule. Yes. All right, let, let's start with some live music. Um, yeah. What kind of live music events do we have? We're going to have Dancing on the Cooper, um, which is also in Mount Pleasant at the Mount Pleasant Pier. That's a series that it takes place on Friday nights. Uh, the first one's going to be coming up March 22nd. Cool. We have live music. Um, the first one's going to be uh, Vinyl Days. They do like 80s, 90s, oldies covers. So that's a really great spot at the end of the Mount Pleasant Pier. You go down there and dance yes. and listen to some music and drink some beverages. Mm -hmm. And then another one of the Mount Pleasant Pier, um, this one is actually free. Uh, because Dancing on the Cooper, there is a charge for that okay. one. But uh, this other event's called Cheers on the Pier. That's oh. on select Thursdays um, at the Mount Pleasant Pier, right outside the cafe and gift shop. We'll have some live music out there. You can nice. uh, get some beverages there as well. So that's more of a happy hour time frame. So okay. lots of live music in the parks for sure. All right, what about yoga events? I know there's a lot of yogis here in Charleston. What do you have for them? Absolutely. Um, so we have a Starlight Yoga series that takes place on select Thursday evenings um, throughout the park system at various parks. Uh, the first one coming up is again in Mount Pleasant at the Mount Pleasant Pier. It's going to be Thursday, April 4th, and that's a guided yoga program starts at 7 30 in the evening you get those beautiful sunset views down there at the end of the Mount Pleasant Pier mm -hmm. um, and it's a flowing yoga program and it's open to all ages and abilities so mm -hmm. that's a really fun one so much fun yes. all right a lot of happy hour yappy hour events can you talk yes. about that too yes um, so we have some great happy hour events uh, the first one coming up is actually next Thursday out at Johns Island County Park it's called toast under the oaks so cool. if you live in the Johns Island area it's a really fun one starts at 5 30 on uh, next Thursday mm -hmm. and we have live music Music out there. Uh, your ticket price is twenty dollars and includes uh, beer or wine. Nice. Um, and then you can just enjoy the beautiful park out there. Um, it's called Toast Under the Oaks because we have this beautiful oak alley out there, so it's a nice spot. So and fun. then another one you mentioned, Yappy Hour. Um, that's our dog happy hour in the dog park at Wanamaker County Park. Um, if you have a dog and you haven't been out to that. Uh, dog park, by the way. It's really yes, cool. Yeah. In Wanamaker, North Charleston. Uh, so we're going to have a happy hour event. It's a free event with your park admission fee on March 28th. You have, we'll have live music and beverages and just a great chance to kind of socialize with other people, let your dog run around. Have a good time. I hope everybody's marking their calendars out here because there's so I much there's good a lot stuff. Of dates I'm out. So much good stuff. All right, what about for the foodies? I know there's a pretty fun event you guys have been doing for the past few years. I know it always sounds like so much fun. What's what's coming up? Yes, um, the Low Country Cajun Festival. Mm -hmm. It's coming up on Saturday, April 13th. So we're still a little far out for that one, but definitely mark, yeah, your, mark your calendars. calendars. Um, yeah, if you're into Cajun or Creole foods, you know, like um, jambalaya, etouffee, mm -hmm. crawfish, this is the place to be. Um, it's at James Island County Park from 12 to 6 on April. April 13th. We also have um, live Zydeco music playing throughout Ooh. the day, um, children's activities, there's souvenirs and crafts and um, beverages, so it's a really fun afternoon. So, yeah. so much going on this spring. Where can yes. people learn more information about all of this? Um, you can just go to charlestoncountyparks.com. We have our full calendar of events up there. There's a lot more I didn't get a chance to talk about um, today as well, so check it out. You can get ticket prices and buy advanced tickets there as well. Amazing. Well, Sarah, thank yeah. you so much, and all Thanks, of that man. information is going to be on your screen. Make sure to go out to Charleston County Parks this spring. It's Absolutely. Nice to be. Even if you don't want to come to an event, just come out and explore your parks. Definitely. Yeah. Sarah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.